Tonight, the president of the Woodland Park School Board admits to 13 investigates they could have been more transparent. Parents accuse the board of meeting secretly in order to approve a new charter school. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty is live now at the district's offices up in Woodland Park. Dan. Right. On January 26th, the Woodland Park School Board voted to sign off on an agreement that would include Merritt Academy. The district or the board plans to bring in Merritt Academy as a charter school into the district. But if you look at the agenda for that January 26th special meeting, it makes no mention of Merritt Academy or any plans to vote on the issue. And I'd just like to tell Taking a closer look at the agenda for the Woodland Park School Board special meeting, item five is titled Board Housekeeping. According to the minutes from that meeting, the board used that agenda item to discuss and unanimously approve an agreement to add Merritt Academy as a charter school to the district. I was saying housekeeping doesn't tell the public anything about what is actually going to be considered under that agenda item. Jeff Roberts with the Colorado Freedom of Information Coalition discussed Colorado's open meeting laws with 13 investigates. If a board knows that a matter is going to come up, they need to put that on the agenda and they need to put it, that on the notice 20, 24 hours ahead of time so the public knows what to expect. 13 investigates obtained emails showing the Woodland Park School District superintendent, attorney, the school board president, and vice president sent or received emails pertaining to the agreement with Merritt Academy at least four days prior to the special meeting. But the emails sent more than 24 hours before the meeting don't directly discuss bringing the issue to a vote during the upcoming meeting. After the meeting and being questioned by a number of people, I thought, yes, I could have done it much more transparent. Woodland Park School Board President David Rusterholt says the board could have been clearer, but he's adamant they broke no laws. So we, at the very next meeting, we had it on the agenda listed as Merritt Academy Memorandum of Understanding would be discussed and voted on. The board president says the January 26th vote was voided, but some parents weren't so forgiving for the lack of clarity. Erin O'Connell, a Woodland Park school system parent, filed an injunction alleging the district violated the law. 13 Investigates has learned the complaint was pulled by the plaintiff. Reporting live in Woodland Park, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates.